there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way it treats its children, Nelson Mandela. Holiday vigilance protecting minors from predators. It's holiday time, but there's no rest for the weekend. Schools are closed and children are excited to be home to enjoy the unstructured time away from teachers, assignment, and academic rigor. But as children relax, it is time for parents and guardians to be on alert for the dangers lurking around. Predators are on the loose and are smirking at their potential victims. These victims are your children, boys, and mostly girls. And most of the perpetrators are familiar to them. Uncles, cousins, lesson teachers, domestic staff, pastors or imams delivering children from stubborn spirits and in some bizarre cases their fathers. Defilement, defilement of mi minors occurs in your homes, churches, summer schools and uncompleted buildings especially for child hawkers. UNICEF says six out of every ten children in Nigeria experience emotional, physical or sexual abuse before the age of 18 with half experiencing physical violence. Dear parents, be extra vigilant. Due diligence, due diligence is required when outsourcing the care, entertainment of your children and words during the holidays. One of the most important skills your children need to learn this holiday is self-defense against the minors, against the monsters in our midst. So how do we protect our minors from the menace of rape and sexual assaults, child labor, and the incidents of rape? Now, every day when I open the newspapers, the pictures about 14-year-old girl molested, two-year-old molested by somebody, uh, it goes on and on, and boys are even part of it. A research was carried out, informal research, and found that a lot of children are molested in their homes, Nigerian children. Their, first, their foretaste of sexual violence or sexual assault happened right in their homes by people, relatives who are living in, mm -hmm. in their house. And now that it's holiday time, as children, parents won't stop work. So when they go off and all that, they leave their children. And some send their children to churches. If a child is being a child, you say, oh, this child has some stubborn spirits. You need to gun, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 7 billion children are being molested, abused globally. And from these um, statistics, one out of five females have been abused and mm -hmm. one out of 13 males. Yeah. You see the disparity that mm -hmm. women, children, female children, children are, are vulnerable. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So who yeah. are these abusers? We yeah. ask ourselves. They are within us, you guess, within our spaces. I'm sorry to use the uncles, species, uncles, yeah. 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 uncles mm -hmm. aunties, teachers, teachers, teachers. Yeah. even fathers, fathers, mm -hmm. yes. fathers. You know, so and in some rare cases, mothers, mothers. Yeah. yes, and mothers. Yeah. Yeah. And mothers. Yeah. You cannot well. rule out anyone. Everyone's a suspect in this exactly. case. So how do we now protect these children? Well, First, we have to mm -hmm. educate them yeah. about their bodies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Educate them about their bodies. We educate them about. Se we give them sexual orientation. We mm -hmm. run away from sexual orientation too much. Orientation. You see, I um, there is someone, a friend. She, I think, a child is like six, seven years. I was just telling her, I was advising. I was advising her that start giving this child sexual, sexual orientation. orientation. No, she's too young. Mm -mm. She was shy. There's this thing we shy away from mm -hmm. talking to children about their bodies about their private parts, about mm -hmm. telling them no one has access to your so, private. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are a child, yes, but no one has access. I am mommy. Most times I have because I, I clean you up. You, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more like your major caregiver. Mm -hmm. So anyone else out of that box is not allowed. Yeah. You should know. You should voice out. You know, most of these children, they, um, they are being told by these abusers that mm -hmm. they will kill them. Mm -hmm. They will harm them. You must not tell mom. You, you must not tell, tell daddy. I will harm you. Daddy. It is your duty as a parent or a caregiver mm -hmm. to tell these children that 
you, you can confide in me. No mm. one is going to hear. No third party. You you create this space, safe space. Psychological yeah. space. Yeah. Safety. You have to create this psychological safety net for them. Uh, another issue I am interested in what you said: the issue of poverty and child labor. Yes. Now you talk about child abuse, mm -hmm. sexual abuse of children. Mm -hmm. Now coming to the angle of other form of abuse of children. Mm -hmm. God gave you children, but let me come from the religious perspective. Mm -hmm. You got married. You prayed to God for foot of the room, and you got it. Now you got it, rather than investing in this human that God gives to you to grow, to become someone great and responsible in the future, to grow, have a legacy or something, or perhaps God in your legacy, you rather see them as cash cow. Mm. You know, I, I have five children, I'll send them on the street, I carry this in your head and go and sell. Well, and these people yeah. are, for God's sake, under 10, under 5. Do you, know, do you know? I, do you know? 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 Do you at 17, 16, she oh, was yeah, already yeah. providing for, providing for the family. family. Yeah, it was a clip yeah, you you can tell them. And she's not educated, like, she's but not in school. She's not. She the was saying, what are you doing? My boyfriend says the family. Can you imagine? Just imagine that. See, that is a failure of the society. And I'll tell you why. One of the saddest days for a mother is the day you carry a train of oranges and put on your yeah, child's, child's head. head. And say, go out but there. But these women don't know this. Is there a way we can educate No, 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 no. See, you are not... Uh, you didn't hear what I said. I said one of the saddest days for a woman is the day you put your tray of oranges on your child's head and say, okay, go out and hawk. Because you know the dangers. Maybe you also born into poverty, and this is the only way. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, we encourage children. Uh, you see, uh, when you book kids, they have lemonade stand, you know, they are selling lemonade, mm -hmm. they are making small. We're encouraging entrepreneurship for the mm -hmm. children. My point is, there are times that children will have to help their parents because things are difficult. are difficult. You cannot have a house full of um, children, maybe uh, 10 to 15, 16, and then every day you go out and you come back home with one night. My point is, is there a way back to the government now, mm -hmm. government intervention to support families? So you hear, oh, they are giving 5,000 naira or uh, 30,000 naira, and you're asking yourself, a cheaper yes. of yam is 8,000 naira. Yes. How? Uh, beans and whatever, 8,000 naira for this and that. Mm -hmm. So my point is, how do we... Child labor, by the way, is a crime. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. it's, 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 it's a crime, crime you know? Uh -huh. But the government has decided to look away like this. <laughs> because the government well, is wondering if we carry them, where are we going to keep them? We how are we going to feed yeah, them? You know, so even so, you hear, oh, people went for some sporting program. They'll come back, they give them $10,000, blah, blah, blah. You'll say even this one, you can have places where these families can go. And again, I'm happy that we're having the local government being yeah, empowered. So, so local that. governments now, you can go to them for mm -hmm. support. Or they can create these safe spaces yeah. where you know, oh, a woman has to work. Mm -hmm. There are some offices now, they have daycare, they support holiday program yes, for children. Because yes. an unsettled mother is an unsettled staff. Sure. I remember this story. I met a woman recently, I think early this month, early this month of July or late last June. Within that time, a woman she had a daughter, she was working with her daughter in the night, begging for arms and food to eat. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at accessing this woman, I know she has hands and legs that can work. She's not mad, she's not mentally. She's what mentally work would she be doing? Like, whatever. But I asked. No, her, you can know what, whatever what I mean it is. She can actually do things. What like, I mean, she, she, like, she seems healthy. Mm -hmm. Whatever work she wants to do. So I like asked her, Madam, why are you in this situation? And she told me, okay, the place I was staying, the. They actually drove us out. They mm -hmm. wanted to demolish the building because they wanted to sell it or something. And then mm -hmm. she was going to do other things, but I think she lost money in the process. Okay. So her business was gone. Right. So she and her daughter, her daughter was not, I think she, I asked how old your daughter. She said the daughter was about under 17. She was not up to 18. Mm -hmm. So what is the plan? She said, I asked her, okay, can you go? Do you have a chief? She's a Muslim. Have you seen your imam? Your cleric. Your cleric. You go to a mosque. Don't can they help you? The community there, the Muslim community, maybe set you up. She said, unfortunately, she went to the imam so that the imam could be of help. Guess what the imam was telling her? The imam right. is interested in in the girl. What? After having two wives. She said, like I want to marry my So now the issue is she said she doesn't want her daughter to marry the man because she believes her daughter has a future. No, that's, that's a good one. She said uh, that she's hungry, but even if the man denies them food or shelter, 
she believes that she wants her daughter to go to school. And I said, okay, can you go to the local government? Yeah. At least try. Let's do you know, have welfare services in the local government. Yeah, so this, yeah. this is a very big problem. The, the, it, it is. And, you know, uh, as you're taking it to, to religion, I'm saying that a lot of the churches have responsibility churches to the mosque. society. Churches and mosques, they have. But again, I don't like this where people abdicate their responsibilities and their senses to the man of God you know without you knowing. So when you have, um, this week or last week was reported, a pastor was, it was raping a, 40, a girl. He's been raping her since she was 10. Mm -hmm. This matter came to light at when she turned 14. Mm -hmm. She'd had three abortions for him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes, she's had three abortions for him. You know, and because the mother okay. took this girl to stay with the pastor because she was stubborn or, or whatever, you know, so <laughs> it's not even about I put the child in church, it's that is no longer good enough, it's just to make sure that yes, you are yes, very, yes. very vigilant. You know, parents will now have their own parents' brigade that anywhere you have a cluster of kids, there will be a parent monitoring. Mm. Technology is helping. Yeah. CCTV and all of that, but we know that the man who raped a two-year-old girl moved. He knew where the CCTVs yeah, were, and he moved away from it so that you know he you it will not be, be he will not be seen. So I'm just saying that sometimes you don't you don't have to have it all. You can't have everything. If you choose to have children, you should be able to take care of them. Some of these children that are abused are not indigent children. They are not. Their mothers or their fathers would be able to say, okay, let me take a different kind of job that will be more available, or let me take other hours. Thank God now for remote jobs. But even inside those homes, you find women who don't have time for their children. You're talking about intentional You have parenting. fathers. Yes, yeah, you have fathers that the children cannot even talk to. Their yes. fathers are still like uh, Samanja inside the house. Yes. You cannot, you they are not approachable. They just want... Uh, children where they, they would demonstrate during oh, graduation, we wear cloth and comb, ceremonial parenting, you know, so I'm just saying, but for those ones who really are interested, teach your children self-defense. Mm. That would be the first line of protection yeah. that they yeah. have. I think schools I think should the, also, you the know, the incorporate the self-defense. Um, schools, schools yeah, can, but parents can. It's your, your child. Yes. It's your what? child. Of what years was it 15, it's 13 years? It's 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 no, I it's have it. You will know where to bite yes. them. No, I you know where to bite them. Whose children are taking those, um, what do they call it? Self defense. Self -defense. Taquando. Taquando and yeah. all that. Yeah. I understand. That, they, that, their that, skills that. improved. Like, mm -hmm. the woman was like, one day the child, it's more like this um, reflex action. Mm -hmm. The child was so strong. Can yeah. you imagine that? Mm -hmm. The 10-year-old. No, it's good. I'm not, it's I'm not going to protect all children. It's we can't protect a two-year-old or a six-month-old who has just been defiled. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying largely, if you take your 10-year-old child for deliverance in the church, in the church, and the pastor wants to come and deliver her in a, diff, in a special it's, kind of way, it's, it's she can do something to him. Yeah, okay. in fact, sorry, sorry okay. to question. There was something I wanted to say, right? Um, the deliverance with clergy men, men of God. I feel like I'm of the opinion that parents should, I don't know, if there are times when you pastors your or age exactly that's without what I'm um that's the parents they are talking about. with the Holy Spirit, yeah. so it's just one you of one. Speak with the Holy mm. Spirit with me being with my child. No, the Holy Spirit wants privacy. No, so I, I think the parents <laughs> should also. The Holy Spirit doesn't caution. work like that. Stop no, saying, I think, stop I think, saying this. I think, as the, God. I think the pastors and themselves, the, if they are responsible, mm -hmm. they do the right thing to do. To do. The child, child, they're, 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 they're charlatans. They are charlatans that have opened if, churches. If the, if the pastors or imams or religious leaders are responsible people and sincere, men of integrity or women of integrity, mm -hmm. they know the right thing to do. to do. That will not be questionable. Mm. And there are babalaos too that oh, people so. take their children yeah. to and then they give them ogunfe. Instead of doing the right thing, they give them ogunfe and the, the, the girls start, start to follow them. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it happens. Yeah. So yeah. don't let's don't. It, it happened. Yeah. My lecturer yeah. told me, told me the ex experience. Uh -huh. uh, love charm, yes. The bottom line, the holidays here, it's a time for fun, it's a time for the children to run free. But please, parents, all I'm begging is that do not let them be afraid. Do not let fear interfere with the pleasure and the fun of the holiday. Be vigilant, monitor everybody, and please take care of your children. That's, that's, that's it. Happy holidays, kids. All right.
So with that being said, the end always seemed to come too soon on The Advocate. However, The Advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on X and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous, to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on Plus TV Africa DSTV, channel 408. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye.